Go. A little golden book. Yeah. Disney, the Little Mermaid. Disney, the Little Mermaid. Look at that. Look, she has a fork. Uh, this is like, like the live action one, right? E indeed. Ariel was a bright and curious mermaid. The only thing she loved more than her family was the human world. But her father, King Triton, warned her to never swim to the surface. He believed that all human beings were dangerous. But Ariel couldn't keep, to her, couldn't keep herself from wondering about the world above. So she and her friend Flounder explored the shipwrecked coves, looking for gadgets and gizmos from the surface. What kind of stuff do you think she found? I don't know. When Ariel arrived home one day, King Triton was angry with her. This obsession with humans has to stop, he said. But Ariel didn't think that any group of people on land or in the sea could be all good or all bad. Disobeying her father, Ariel swam to the surface and saw Prince Eric. He stood on a great ship, sailing the open sea. Ariel felt a connection with them. See? He's so handsome. Look at him. See? Look at that tail. That's his jaw. Oh, oh, that's him. Suddenly, a fire started on the ship. Eric sprang into action. He got all the sailors and his faithful dog, Max, out of harm's way. But he couldn't help keep himself from getting hurt. In the nick of time, Ariel saved him. After carrying Eric to shore, Ariel sang until she heard people coming to find the prince. Oh, that's how she sang. Very nice. Before Eric could find, before Eric could fully open his eyes, Ariel rushed away. He vowed to find the person with the beautiful voice who had saved his life. Who do you think saved him? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. He didn't know. You don't know? He didn't know. Maybe it was a, it was a dugong. Back at home, Ariel helped her sisters clean up the wreckage from the storm. There were terrible. There was terrible damage to the coral, and her family blamed the humans. We're not all the same, so why should humans be? Ariel said. Still, King Triton believed that humans had no respect for the ocean. <gasps> Wait. Hmm. Ariel swam away to her grotto. Later, her father found her. When King Triton saw Ariel with the statue of Prince Eric that had that she had taken from the wreckage. He lost his temper and destroyed the grotto. Ariel was heartbroken. <gasps> oh no, his gizmo. Oh. All her gizmos are gone. Man. Uh, oh. Ursula, the sea witch, had been watching Ariel for some time. With the help of her slimy sidekicks, Flotsam and Jetsam, Ursula lured Ariel into her lair. I can't bear to see you suffer like this. And s and as it so happens, I can help you, Ursula said. Oh, good. She can help her. That's nice. Uh, Ursula. not nice. Spoiler. Not nice. Ursula, Ursula, Ursula told Ariel that she could become human and be with Prince Eric. The only catch was that Ariel needed to get true love's kiss before the sun set on the third day or she belonged to Ursula forever. To seal the deal, Ariel traded her beautiful voice for legs. <gasps> Not her voice. No, 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 don't accept that. Too late. Ariel's transformation. After Ariel's transformation, she swam to the surface. She was scared, but excited to explore the human world. A fisherman helped Ariel get to shore and took her to a kind woman named La Shana, the head of the household for the island castle. Once Ariel was cleaned up, Lashana introduced her to Eric. <gasps> Look, there he is! <laughs> Eric and Ariel bonded over their love of traveling the world and visiting new places. Er Eric told Ariel that he would give her a tour of the kingdom forgetting about his quest to find the girl with the beautiful voice who had saved him. 
If only he knew that he was already talking to her. Even without a voice, Ariel and Eric got to know each other as they explored the island. Ariel's friends, Sebastian, Flounder, and Scuttle, guided Eric and Ariel to a romantic lagoon so they could share true love's kiss and break the spell. The sea creatures set the mood, and Ariel almost kissed Eric, but Ursula's minions flipped their boat and they fell in the water. The moment was ruined, but Sebastian and Flounder were hopeful Wait, who was singing? Ariel and Eric were would kiss before the sun set the next day. However, Ursula had other plans. Hmm? Who was singing? The crab was singing. He has a good voice. No, Ariel. No, Ariel doesn't have a voice in this, remember? No, Ariel saved him. Oh. The next morning, Ariel woke to discover that Eric was engaged to be married to someone else. Someone with her voice. Ursula was pretending to be human named Vanessa. She had Vanessa. put Vanessa. I know Vanessa. Who is that? No, he's Ariel. Vanessa. She had put Ariel's voice into a necklace to use for herself. She needed to be stopped. With the help of her friends, Ariel broke Ursula's necklace and got her voice back. It was you all along, said Eric. But just before they could kiss, the sun set. It was too late. Ariel became a mermaid again, and she belonged to Ursula. <gasps> wow. We still are not accepted. When all hope seemed lost, King Triton arrived. Despite desperate to help his daughter, he asked to take Ariel's place. Ursula was thrilled. King Triton lost all his power. <gasps> oh no, now she's the king. No, the no. Oh! Using the king's mighty trident, Ursula created a violent storm. Ariel refused to give up. Suddenly, a wrecked ship floated to the surface in the storm. Ariel climbed aboard. Ariel navigated the churning she waves and crashed to into Ursula. Thanks Ariel to... didn't want to get up. Yeah, up. that's right. Thanks to Ariel's bravery, the curse was broken. <sighs> That's, that's pretty cool. She can drive a ship. Afterward, Eric swam to shore. Ariel took back the King, Tri King Triton's trident and restored her father to power. King Triton now understood that not all humans were bad and that Ariel deserved to be happy. He used his trident to turn Ariel into a human. Elated, she swam to the beach and reunited with Eric. Amazing. Look, she has legs now. They're married. Mm. Wait, Ariel, they need a true love kiss. No, they they don't need a true love's kiss. Yes, they do. They got married. They okay. Ariel and Eric were excited to explore uncharted waters together. With the help of both human and mer people, everyone united in harmony. They're mermaids. Indeed. The end. Oh, I just to show you something. Hello. Hello.